Hello everybody, and so today I have another diecast review for you. And it's been a while, but here as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of diecasts. Um, a lot of these were ones that have um, been out for a while, varying ones. I kind of went back and got some other ones that I hadn't gotten. And so, here they are. I'll take a look at them. So, <clears throat> first up we have Austin Dillon's number three. Best Pro Shops, uh, it's the gold one that he ran at uh, Daytona. It's a very nice looking one here. Um, pretty base uh, throwback here to uh, Dale Sr.'s Best Pro Shops car that he ran with the gold. Very nice looking with the gold, and then the red and the yellow, and then the black. overall very nice looking tracker boats and ATVs on the back etc but yeah a very nice looking car though. and next we have Chase Elliott's number nine Mountain Dew team Rubicon that he ran Daytona in the clash uh, this one I don't like quite as much as last year's um, still doesn't look too bad here on the die cast but uh, Still looks kind of weird with the uh, the camo there, but uh, still overall pretty good looking. Um, Diecast looks good overall, quality wise. So yeah, very nice. <clears throat> then next we have Kyle Busch's number eighteen M and M's chocolate bar. So this one's a little different. I don't like it quite as much because I just don't think the uh, the brown and the yellow go together real well on this. But uh, this has the cool characters there. Kind of getting sucked into the chocolate almost. <laughs> but uh, yeah, very very chocolatey I guess you could say on this, this car. But, uh, yeah, got the red guy in the front, the yellow guy, and the orange guy on the other side there. Uh, yeah, and then uh, with the M&M &M minis in it, in the chocolate bar. So yeah, pretty nice looking die cast though. And then next, one of my favorite ones here, is Kyle Busch's number 18 uh, M&M's Hazelnut Spread. Blue, it's nice and sparkly. It really, I think it makes this car pop. And then again, with kind of the rainbow colors from the M&Ms, as usual. Does even show that hazelnut on the inside. And then yeah, hazelnut spread on the side there. The red M&M guy, just hazelnut spread on the back. And then there's the blue M&M guy. Next, we have Kyle Busch's number 18 Skittles Toyota. So this is a very nice looking car. It's been pretty much the same paint scheme for a while now. But uh, the red and then with the rainbow just, just looks really cool overall for a paint scheme. So yeah. Next, we have. Martin Truex Jr.'s number 19 Sirius XM if you got a Camry. This one's kind of nice with the uh, black and then the light blue and then the white. Um, I don't know how well you can see but there's like the little gray dots kind of look like wires from the music. So pretty cool. But then yeah, overall very nice looking car. Really simple, but uh, still pretty cool. And we have Eric Jones, number 20, Stanley, Toyota Camry. This one's pretty basic here. Um, the yellow there in the front. And kind of this cool design here on the side, going back. And getting more black here with the Stanley there. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Reasers there, as you can see. And the quarter panel. And yeah, that overall nice looking paint scheme. Nice paint scheme. Then we have Joey Logano's 
Number 22, Pennzoil car. This one's very more of a yellow compared to the Shell Pennzoil. Kind of an interesting design that they've had here. With this kind of pattern. Makes it a little darker, but uh, still pretty interesting. Still pretty cool overall. And yeah. Nice on this new uh, Ford Mustang body. Take yeah. Fairly nice one there. This one to have. <coughs> and the last one of the Cup Series here is uh, Bubba Wallace's Plan B sales car that he ran at Auto Club, I believe. This one was cool because he got a bunch of fans' names on the car there. You can see a bunch of them on the hood and then on the side as well as the other side there. Yeah, um, they even had a fan competition to determine, determine the design, so that's really cool. Nice to see a diecast made some more names up there, as well as the deck lid and Plan B sales in the back. But yeah, really cool overall. So nice one there. <coughs> and then on to the Xfinity series, we have Michael Annette's number one American Heart Association Flying J. Daytona Race to Win. So this is a pretty cool paint scheme overall. The black, the red looks very cool. And then again, it is race. You can see kind of some of the tape on the front. Maybe a little scuffs and stuff here. Not a whole lot really noticeable, but uh, still. A very nice looking car here overall. Very nice, very nice. Next we have Justin Allgaier's number seven, Brandt, Chevrolet Camaro here. This one, a uh, little different design than the uh, Brandt car this year. Kind of like how it's got the fields, like the background. Just kind of cool on the car there, you see that? But again, that nice bright orange makes it pop on the track. There as usual. But uh, yeah, very nice overall. And we have Ryan Truex number eight Marky Spa. So this one's a really cool design, nice colors with the different shades of blue. Kinda cool with the balloon, I believe. Is that what it's supposed to be on the duck there? Um Hot tubs there, but uh, yeah, just very nice looking overall. Really nice design, very nice looking die cast there. So, yeah, and then last but not least, we have Zane Smith's number eight Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. A little different with the white, the purple, and the black, but uh, still pretty cool design. Nice looking overall. Very good there, very nice. Kind of simple design, just a few swipes here, but uh, still pretty nice, pretty cool. And so that is all for today for this diecast review. So I hope you enjoyed, hopefully I'll have some more coming in here soon. And that's all for me, this is Corey Klatt, signing off.